Hi, everyone. My name is Gu Chuan Li. I'm a postdoc at the University of Michigan. This semester, I'm meeting Max Planck. I'm applying for a tenure track and a postdoc position. My research focuses on chromatic computations, especially at prime two and higher heights. Today, I want to first motivate chromatic homotopy theory and then reveal recently developed equivalent techniques and tell you some new computations can be done with these techniques. So I want to motivate the chromatic homotopy theory from a very computational point of view. See, if you want to compute the homotopy groups, which usually are very hard, for example, uh, the stable homotopy groups of spheres are super hard. But both completely computed homotopy groups of some interesting spaces, the Lie group, unitary group, and orthogonal group. Then Adams studied the J homeomorphism from the homotopy groups of orthogonal group to the stable homotopy group of spheres. And the image uh, is completely understood. By studying the Adams operation, uh, acting on the topological K theory, uh, KU, and the real one, KO. So with this method, I know a piece of information uh, in the very com complicated uh, homotopy groups of sphere. Another question would be, can I understand the whole group like this? And the answer is yes, at least theoretically. Uh, and the image of J story I just told you fits into the first one at the infinite series in chromatic homotopy theory. So let me tell you more about the theory. As the name suggests, it's very colorful. Uh, this is the name is borrowed from physics. So just like the light goes through the prism, decompose as rainbow. Uh, the stable homotopy theory through the chromatic machine uh, will decompose into periodic layers uh, indexed by height. So through the lens of chromatic homotopy theory, you see the orderly behavior, behavior uh, from the chaos. So more precisely, fix a prime, given a height, uh, there are generalized commodity theory, EH, the Morala E theory, and uh, together with the group action, uh, the Morala stabilizer group, GH. And the H layer, uh, it's a periodic uh, layer, and can, it's just like the home fixed point, EH, HGH. So the image of this story fits in as follows. So E1 is nothing but just the complex K theory, KU, and the uh, first moral stabilizer group is just Adam's operation. So if I'm not taking the fixed point of the whole group, I just take the first step, uh, the first non-trivial subgroup, uh, the group of order two, uh, then I end up with the real K theory KO. So with this in mind, so our goal is trying to compute uh, the homotopy groups of EH, H, G, H. And if this is too large, maybe the first step is to compute E H H G for some finite subgroup G in G H. And here are some new techniques to do it from equivalent homotopy theory. So let's focus on prime two. And the idea is following. So first you want to start with the smallest group C2. So in this case, all heights, the computation is known. Uh, this is the key input is the geometric information. Uh, this C2 action can be modeled by complex conjugation. Uh, so this is Hu Krish, uh, Hia Hopkins Revenue, Han and Shi. And from the C2 case, now uh, you can uh, govern the computation of the G finite group where G containing C2 uh, by the Hia Hopkins Revenue norm functors. Uh, together with other equivalent structures. So 
uh, you can imagine uh, from G and its subgroup C2, their restriction transfer and norm functors. Uh, and this will allow, allow you to do the computation uh, for the G group from the computation of C2. Once you compute that, now you have know the homotopy groups of EHHG, which is a generalization of the real K theory K O in higher heights. So then uh, you can study the image on the Hurwitz map and the J homeomorphisms. That gives you information of the homotopy groups of sphere. Uh, so now let me tell you some of uh, my research along this idea. Uh, so for the C2 group case, uh, together with Xiao Lin Dan Nishi, Guo Zhen Wang, and Zhou Li Xu, uh, we use the C2 stimulus algebra to encode the C2 computation and study the previous images uh, for uh, EHC2 at all heights. So the cool part is uh, in this way, you can compute, you can encode the computation purely algebraic. Uh, before like the C2 computation, you use uh, uh, complex conjugation, some geometric information, but now once you embrace the equivalent algebra, like the C2 stimulus algebra will encode this information. Uh, uh, so the next step for finite subgroups, uh, for all heights, all finite subgroups, uh, we prove that the spectral sequences computation uh, collapse uh, after a certain page V, and uh, the final answer is P periodic, uh, where both V and P are specific numbers uh, given by formulas uh, depending on H and G. So this is a drawing work with Zhi Peng Duan and uh, Xiao Lin, Dan Ni Shi, Guo Zhen Wang, and Zhou Li Xu. So here is a picture to illustrate the result. Uh, so if you think the height one case, the image of J story, this is a real bot periodicity. Uh, the eight periodicity of KO can be computed via a spectral sequence uh, after D3 it collapse. So everything, uh, the key feature it's the following. So all the information uh, lies in the eight times three box. Uh, and uh, our result is we find the numbers P times V at the box, uh, analog to the eight times three for KO, we find it for all EHHG. So this is very powerful in computations. Uh, for example, uh, this helps us to do the First non cyclic group computation, like the Q8, is a quaternion group using these equivalent techniques. And uh, then the next step, we are hoping to know the image of Hurry's map and J homeomorphism. Again, the equivalent techniques help. So, in a current doing work with Ning Chuan Zhao, we found that the Paris map and the J homomorphism uh, through the lens of equivalent homotopy theory are just uh, perfinite restriction and transfer maps between the finite group G and the perfinite group GH. And uh, in the end, let me also say some uh, future directions. Uh, so the number we found the little box V times P are sharp in all known cases. So for example, it recovers uh, numbers like after D23, uh, you get the 192 periodic TMF computation, the topological motor forms, uh, but we don't know if it's sharp in general. Uh, and also like the periodicity uh, comes from a combination of ROG periodicities, where ROG is a representation ring. Uh, but we don't know uh, all the ROG priorities. We know enough to uh, get an integer one, uh, but it's not all of them. So, and for the computation, uh, I really want to push the computation for Q8 at prime two in higher heights and also for all primes. Like in the end, like the image of profound transfer, uh, which can be regarded as the analog of image G, uh, is very interesting. That's all. Thank you.